obviously the pandemic really just changed how people work, how they use offices. It's changed demand for office space. Um, and these, uh, these defaults are just a reflection of that. So, uh, you know, people are working from home. And so companies just don't need as much office space as they did before the pandemic. Um, the, the thing that really jumped out at me, though, is uh, from a South Florida perspective is so the, all these defaults are happening in places like New York and D.C. and L.A. And it, it really hasn't happened yet in South Florida. In fact, I mean, we've got uh, new properties like 830 Brickle that's uh, that's leasing out space for 100 bucks a square foot plus. Um, and so we leased it here in, in Miami and in, in South Florida. We're, we're seeing an influx of companies. We're seeing uh, an influx of people. And so I, you know, I had an interesting conversation with Terry Blanca, the, uh, the Miami office broker, and I, I asked her about that. And she said, well, it, you know, in, it, unlike those other markets, Miami has companies coming in. So we, even, if, uh, even if the companies that were here uh, you know, before and during the pandemic are downsizing, there are enough companies coming in to pick up the slack. So it's, uh, it's kind of a, a, a geographic uh, distinction. So yes, in, in many downtowns where people are, are leaving, they're... Uh, Office landlords are struggling. It doesn't seem to be the, the same intensity of issues here. I always have CNBC on in the background, Jeff, uh, during the day. One of the things they're always talking about is you have a lot of people coming in the office uh, uh, Tuesday through Thursday, some of them on Monday. Nobody's in on Friday. And as a result, if you look at the restaurants in the, in the surrounding businesses, many of them are struggling simply because they don't have the same volume to justify the retail rents. Um, as you were reporting out these stories, did you see or hear anything related to retail space? Yeah, yeah, that's been a big challenge. I mean, the the dry cleaners, I don't know if anybody even uses dry cleaners anymore, but dry cleaners and restaurants and bars, uh, you know, all those places that sort of lived off the, the commuter traffic that have really been struggling. Um, but uh, it, it, so it's going to take a while for that to shake out. Uh, but, but, you know, one interesting thing is that a, a lot of cities are trying to bring more residential development downtown. I mean, certainly that's happened in in downtown Miami, it's happening in downtown West Palm Beach, downtown Fort Lauderdale. Um, and price yep. per square foot on residential is actually higher than, uh, than office. So, I mean, it, it, it's possible that cities will, uh, will replace those office tenants with, with more, uh, you know, year round, uh, week, you know, weekends, um, residents who are the people who are going to be there and, and going to those restaurants. I mean, I don't know if it's going to happen quickly enough to save the, the restaurant or the dry cleaner who's, uh, who's going out of business now, but, uh, I mean, it, it seems like downtowns are, are really, um, being reshaped right now. Yeah, it really seems like that. And we're, and later on in the podcast, I'm going to ask everybody for words of advice or words of wisdom, and I'm going to reference how I think we can repurpose some of that, uh, ground floor retail space in the first few floors in some of these buildings, because there might just be a, a real demand, uh, as it pertains to students and, uh, uh, kids going to school. So, 